Welcome to this MuseScore tutorial. In this extra note input tutorial, I'll be showing you a couple of other ways to input notes that could be quicker for you. So in this score, I've input notes up until this bar line. See, there's the B flat, A, and G. And now I want to continue, but I'm going to use a slightly different method. So I'll select the spot, the part where I want to start, and then our normal input mode is step time but I'm going to put in the rhythm first and then re-pitch them afterwards. So now I can simply select all the rhythms that I need up until this phrase ending. So we have crotchets, four crotchets, so I'll press five. Then I have four semiquavers, that's three. Then three more crotchets, more semiquavers, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And then quavers, and finally the three crotchets. That's the rhythm put in really quickly. Now we need to change our input again, this time to re-pitch. And so now I'll, I'll go back to that point, enter re-pitch mode, and now press the letters on the keyboard. So that is D up an octave. But now I don't have to worry about any of the rhythms, so I can just put the notes in. C, B, A, A, C, E, G, F, That was pretty quick if you know your keyboard well enough. I just want to show you another method to do that, uh, and so I'm going to put in those rhythms again. If you have a MIDI keyboard at home connected to your computer, then you can use that to put notes into MuseScore. I have tried using the, the real-time automatic and real-time manual, but I haven't quite got around to it yet. I'm sure if I figure it out, I'll make another video about that. In the meantime, we're going to use it with this rhythm and re-pitch. I've added the rhythm in now. Now I want to re-pitch it by using my keyboard. So here is my keyboard. And I'm going to start. It may take a little while to find the right notes, but uh, the D, there we go, that's the right one. So D, C. Backspace. And that was also really quick to put in. Again, if you know keyboards, that's really useful. Um, there are some other ways that you can put in notes faster. Thanks for watching.